Why play Zaya bot lane? Well, she has incredibly high damage, she scales hard into the late game, she brings amazing AoE lockdown, and she's a very safe carry being incredibly hard to dive. However, there are ADCs that are stronger early game and ones that are stronger late, and her AoE CC can be counterplayed and dodged. Zaya's passive is after using an ability, her next three attacks will overpierce her target dealing damage to all targets along their path, before leaving a feather on the floor for 6 seconds. These are shown as feathers under her health bar and she can have up to 5 stored at one time. In addition, if Rakan is in the game, if one of them is backing, the other can join their back for a faster back time. Zaya's Q is a straight line skill shot which throws two feathers in a line dealing damage. The first target hit takes full damage and any targets after take half damage. Afterwards this leaves two feathers in the floor where the skill shot ends. Zaya's W grants herself a large amount of attack speed for 4 seconds. In addition, her attacks also fire a secondary shot at the target attack dealing additional damage. And when the second shot hits an enemy champion, she gains a chunk of movement speed. If Rakan is on your team, he also gains this bonus movement speed. Zaya's E calls all feathers back to her, with each feather dealing a chunk of damage. Also, if three or more feathers pass through an enemy, they become rooted. Zaya's ultimate causes her to jump in the air, becoming untargetable and ghosted. After one and a half seconds, she throws out a cone skill shot which deals damage and leaves feathers in an arc on the floor. For combos, your quick burst combo is to use W into an auto attack, followed by Q into an auto attack and then recalling the feathers. And for maximum damage in a team fight, start with W into an auto attack before using Q. After this, use as many of your passive feathers as possible before ulting, attack more for more passives before recalling the feathers back from massive amounts of damage. For matchups, Zaya does well into champions where she can use her ultimate to avoid large bursts of damage or key abilities. However, like many scaling AD carries at the moment, she can struggle against lane bullies. For runes, take this, lethal tempo is just too good. For build order, start blade and pot into gale force, tier 2 boots and quick blades. After this, a PD and Lord Doms are great pickups before finishing a build with any of these as needed. For skill order, start Q then E then W before maxing E then W then Q taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take flash and heal. Starting the game, you are the bot lane carry so your main focus is going to be on farming hard to scale well into the late game. However, while farming you have easy access to poke. Your Q is a long range skill shot which can be used to both farm and harass at the same time. And of course using this or any other ability gives you your passive which gives you access to 3 over piercing attacks. Using your Q and your passive stacks to damage your target while farming is key to doing great in this matchup. And of course if you manage to get more than 3 feathers behind them, pulling it back for the root is a massive amount of damage and allows you to keep trading. And besides from all this poke, you do also have access to great trades. If you have an aggressive support, position so if they go in, you can W into auto attack, into Q auto attack E. Not only is this a massive amount of burst damage, but it also gives you the follow up root. This amount of hard CC and damage can straight up win lanes for you. However, if you're playing with a more passive support or into a bad matchup, just keep poking hard and farming hard. Entering the mid game, you're looking to take your tower as soon as possible and get yourself into the mid lane. This will put you and your support in a great place to siege for additional map control and puts you right in the center of the map, which allows you to roam for fights and objectives easily. Entering late game team fights, you are now a beast of a hyper carry. Play the backline carry role, attacking anything in front of you. Not only do you deal massive damage to anything you attack, but you're also incredibly safe against anything coming at you. Champions that would usually destroy a carry like a Malphite ultimate or a Rengar jumping at you are simply ineffective against you. This is all due to your ultimate keeping you incredibly safe. So keep spamming out damage and save your ultimate to save yourself. While attacking, you'll be stacking up feathers behind their team. Keep stacking up as many as possible, as when you call them back, you'll call all feathers back at the same time, dealing nuclear damage to all their team. And from here, keep safely spamming out all your damage while they melt.